Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to do a full face of makeup I bought at Walmart. I thought this would be kind of fun because I know at least for me, Walmart is like one of the easier places to shop these days. In like all my videos, I'm mentioning the pandemic, but I feel like, I mean, it's obvious because it's affecting like everyone's life, but um, yeah, Walmart is like one of the stores that was open like early so I could actually shop there like for things that I needed but also they do have a makeup section that I always check out when I'm there. Um, so I did get a few new things but other than that these are things that I've been using anyway and that I bought like without even thinking of this video so it's not like I'm only using these things because you can find them at Walmart. They are actually good products and products I was excited to try. Yeah, I think we'll just get started. I hope you can see me. I don't have my glasses on and in my new setup my camera is like a lot farther away than it was before. <laughs> so if I go out of focus I don't really know but it should be okay. And this is my mirror that you're seeing here. Um, so just ignore that I I guess I hope it's not hiding me but anyway yeah before it gets like a thousand degrees in here let me just put some makeup on um so the first thing I'm going to use is actually something I already mentioned in my was in my last video yeah it's the hard candy rose drench toner and refresher it's hyaluronic acid and rose water and it helps hydrate and plump. I'm actually going to use this to prime my skin because I do have another primer but I wasn't sure if I should use it in this video. It's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer because I don't actually know if you can find that at Walmart. I got it at Ulta in the States and I have not seen it at Walmart, at least in Canada, so just to be safe. I'm just going to use this because this is actually um, something you can use to prep your skin. Yeah, it just says Rose Drench Refresher Spray helps to moisturize and plump skin for a glow from within. Use as needed to keep skin looking fresh all day. So I will try and see what this does as a primer. The spray is quite um, wet with this product. And if you don't like rose, you might not like this at all, but I actually think it smells pretty refreshing. So let's just let that sink in and see. Um, I actually have a new foundation to try and I'm pretty excited about this. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, but the dewy version. This already existed as, um, I think it was just called Photo Focus Foundation, but they came out with the new dewy one. And you guys know I have dry skin. I mention it in every video. So I thought that would be pretty good for me. And I've seen people rave about this, like people that use all kinds of makeup and like higher end makeup so this is supposed to be really good so I have high hopes for this. How do I open this? Oh I think I broke it already. Is it? Okay. <laughs> okay it's a twist off um, and it has a paddle. I knew that but for some reason I thought I had to take the cap off. But it's like one of these things where you just wipe the product on your skin. And people say like, when the first one came out, they were saying like how bad it smells of paint. This does not smell like paint to me. So I don't know if they changed the scent or if it just, I don't know. The different formulation makes it smell different, but yeah, so I'm just going to put some here. I have no idea how much to use. I'll just put that amount for now. So does this say anything else? Well, I have the shade, the shade Soft Ivory, if you're wondering. I remember there being like a ton of shades in this. And like a lot of really light shades. 
and I wasn't sure which one would be for me. I think I could have gone with even a darker shade. It is starting to like, it does have a scent, so don't expect it to like be uh, odorless. But it's not like horrible. So just that amount was obviously like a very sheer coverage. So I will go in with another layer. I feel like that packaging could get a bit messy because when you take it out it's like kind of all over the paddle like not just on the paddle part. So it is building up. Yeah I think I can see the dewiness. Sometimes like dewy foundations um, they crease kind of badly though so I do kind of want to do a wear test on this, even though it's already, what time is it? It's already 5.30, so I'm not going to be wearing it much longer, but I'll try and update you in the description box. Because um, the other foundation I have, actually, I think you can get at Walmart in the States, it's the Flower Beauty foundation um that one creases pretty bad on me if i remember correctly yeah this is definitely pretty light for me i still this is like a hive of some sort so that's not getting covered but that's fine this doesn't have any claims on the coverage i don't think let me see Hydrates and smooths complexion for a luminous finish. Buildable coverage for normal to dry skin. Yeah, I do think that does have buildable coverage because it didn't get all weird. And I do see like um, it had it has more coverage than the first layer. For concealer, I have already used this on my channel. It's the, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Why does it say new? I'm pretty sure this has been around forever, but apparently it's new. Maybe it's because this one says eraser dark circles. I don't know. But it's in the shade ivory. It's like you have to twist it and it's one of those like spongy things that not everyone seems to love, but I don't really mind. If I remember correctly, this um, has pretty good coverage, so I'm not going to put too much of it. And like, this is another thing where the packaging gets all dirty here, which I don't really like. So I keep looking at the window because <laughs> there's like a huge bee, and I keep thinking it's inside, but it's outside. Well, so far so good. Sometimes um, concealers really don't mesh well with certain foundation formulas, but these two look pretty good so far. I look very light on camera, but I don't look that light in real life. This is going very well so far. <laughs> I know I mentioned in my last video that I've been having trouble finding like a good concealer and i know i didn't love this one but it's working pretty well with this foundation and before i do any powder products i'm going to put my blush on because i do have a cream blush it's the maybelline cheek heat in the shade coral ember can you see can you is that like any better there <laughs> um, I have used this already and I think I like it but it seems like the pigment is not consistent like sometimes I put it on and it's like really sheer and almost like I can't see it at all and other times it's like very bright in certain areas so yeah I'm, and I only put like a tiny little drop to start because I'm always worried like 
how crazy it's going to be. And I just use my fingers to like pat it on and then um, I go over it with a sponge. I do like cream blush, especially like for a quick look. But when you still want to have some color to your face, because it's just so easy. Maybe a bit more on each side. Yeah, it kind of just keeps coming out, but that's like the amount that I'm putting. Like, honestly, a drop. Like, if you squeezed out a whole, like, dime size of this, I think it'd be kind of crazy. But let me just get that the rest that already came out and try and close this before it explodes. <laughs> I do really like this color and the texture is like, it's like a gel. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's not like super liquidy. So you have to like, um, kind of, well, you'd have to use your fingers really, or else it's just gonna smush around on you. So now I'll go in with my sponge and just like make sure it's blended. I don't know if there's shimmer in this one. I think some of them have shimmer and some don't. It just says sheer gel cream blush. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like a gel cream. Um, but that's all it says. So I hope this is even still available. This is not very new, but I've only been using it recently because um, like I mentioned before, if you haven't seen my other videos, this is, I don't, this is not like where I live normally. I'm um, in a different house, so I don't, I don't have all my makeup with me. I just brought some things that I really wanted to get use out of and things that I thought could make some good video topics. So. Yeah, I'm using a lot of different things lately, but I really like how this looks. Like, I know I look very dewy, so probably if you're oily, you don't want to be this dewy, but then you would just probably just get the original version of this foundation, not the dewy one. But yeah, I think I could have went a shade up for sure, at least in the summer. Um, right, so for highlighter, I have another hard candy product that I actually really like. This is actually a mini size. The, um, the full size one of this is like a pretty big pen, but this is the Just Glow Rose Gold Highlighter. Um, and it has three different shades, but you're supposed to just like swirl it all around, which is what I end up doing. And I actually got this in, I got, wow, this one, <laughs> I got this in a Walmart, like, beauty box. They had, like, some little sets at one point, and that's where I got this, and I really like it. I'm just going to use, I don't want to go too crazy with it because I find like when you have a really dewy, like creamy face and you go in with a powder highlighter, it could get a little crazy because it will stick to it. So I'm just going to use a fan brush. Um, this is the Canadian brand Quo that um, we have at our drugstore here. So it's just like a fan brush, but it's quite fluffy. I have another fan brush that's really thin, so I just wanted to try this one out. I think this was like 99 cents. So I'm just gonna try and get all the colors mixed up. I don't, yeah, I think you can see it. So it looks like a bit scary at first because of this really dark shade up here, but it doesn't come off like that on the skin. And when you blend over all the colors, it kind of just, that's the shade that gives it like the rose gold tint. Now I like this foundation already because it doesn't look weird on my nose. And usually all foundations like go into all the dry skin in my nose. And this one is not doing that. So I think that's all I want to do for the highlighter. 
I don't really need much since I'm already quite dewy. So for eyeshadow, this is exciting. I got two of the new e.l.f. bite size eyeshadows. These like little quads. Um, I think these were $2.99 or $3.99. I never know prices because I watch like a lot of American YouTubers and everything is so cheap there. So I'm like, oh, it's cheap. But then here it's like way more expensive. <laughs> but I do remember these being like something like $3.99. I got the cream and sugar quad, which is this one here. Um, I should probably take this sticker off so you can actually see. It has like, um, I guess it's more like a neutral, yeah, it's more like neutral tones, but I like this one because it has a matte cream shade and a matte, like, darker shade that you can deepen up the outer corner with, so that one's like a full palette for me. This one in rose water, this one doesn't have a matte cream shade but it does have this shade here which would look really nice in the crease I think and this one's more cool toned I guess and it's more like those mauve tones so um, I think I'll use both of them because I do want to use that cream shade from this one and I did put some of that concealer on my eyelids so I think that's good enough um, I like never use an eye primer anyway, so why start now? So people are saying these are like high-end quality and that's what's so like great about them because they are so cheap and you could pretty much like get all the all the variations if you really wanted to but we all know I don't need any more eyeshadow palettes, so I only got two. Yeah, and then I'll switch to the rose water quad so that I can use that, um, this shade here. Do they have shade names? I don't think so. No. This isn't going to give much depth, but I just like this type of shade in my crease. It reminds me of the shade in the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but if you own that palette, you'll know the one I'm talking about. Now, what do I put on the lid? Do I go more mauve -y or more like champagne bronzy? No, I always do. I always do that. I'm gonna stick with the rose water. The only thing is that the deepest shade in this palette is not actually a matte shade. It has some shimmer in it, but that shimmer might um, just like blend away. So I'm not sure because I haven't used it yet, obviously, but I'm going to go in. Yeah, I'm going to try and use all of it. So I'm going to take the darker shimmer from like the middle to the outer corner. Yeah, these are like really creamy. Okay. This is a type of shade that um, I'm going to go in after with my finger because I can tell like it's really nice and metallic but it's just like one of those formulas that goes on better with the finger or even like with something like MAC Fix Plus but I don't have that with me right now. But I really like that tone. So let's see with the finger. Yeah, it's a lot more um, opaque. And then with the lighter shimmer, this first one here, I'm gonna go from like the middle to the inner corner and just kind of blend them together. That's really metallic. So yeah, for the price, I feel like you can't go wrong with these. Like, if you're looking for like 
a more affordable way to get some more eyeshadows in your collection, I would check these out. Plus, I like the size of them. You can travel like easily with these. And also, like just because there's there's only four shades, it's really easy to see like what kind of look you can do with it. Um, but I did want to try the, the darker shade actually, so I don't know why I closed this. Um, I'm just going to go in with this MAC 219, it's like a pencil brush, because I don't want to darken it up too much. Ooh, that is a lot of pigment, if you can see that. Yeah, this is going on more like a satin shade, so I'm kind of just doing like the outer V shape. Yeah, I just need to go back in with some more of that darker shimmer shade because it got lost a little. And then just to blend all the crease together, I'm going back in with that same brush that I used. I really like this. I feel like that blended really nicely. Um, and for my lower lash line, should I do that now? Yeah. Um, I need like a smaller brush. I'm going back in with the shade I used in the crease, that matte shade, just to um, add some color on the bottom. And then with the darker shade, just like on the very outer edge here. I'm just trying to make sure that it's connected at the bottom. It's maybe like... It looks pretty smoky. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I tried like all the shades just to see how they were. And yeah, they're good. So I'm going to do my mascara and brows off camera because I've talked about these products a million times and you guys don't need to see me do that again but it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer and the Lash Paradise which you can get at Walmart and for my brows, the Essence Make Me Brow I think Essence you can only get at the drugstore I don't think it's at Walmart and the e.l.f. Uh, supposed to be like an eyebrow and an eyelash gel but I just use both sides for my brows so I'll be back when that's done okay so I am back um I don't think I want to add anything else to the eyes I kind of like how it looks um with the darker shade like in the crease there I don't want to blend it too much so I think we'll just move on to lips and as usual, I have many options. <laughs> the first one, I thought it was really funny because in my last video, I showed you the Pat McGrath lip balm. And this looks a lot like it, right? But this is actually the Wet n Wild Mega Last High Shine Brilliance uh, lipstick, I guess. In the shade Close Off. So it has like... It's supposed to be like the Pat McGrath packaging, of course. Um, oh, there's a sticker. So that's a really nice nude shade. Three products from Physicians Formula. I really like um, their lip products normally. So this one is the Rose Kiss All Day Velvet Lip Color. It's a pencil. This is the shade um, Pillow Top. Oh yeah, I remember I got this one because um, you guys know Charlotte Tilbury has a shade called Pillow Talk and it's like really popular. I actually have it because I got it in a Sephora Favorites kit. But I was wanting to see like if this would be a dupe for it. But obviously this is a pencil and that's a lipstick. But um, I do believe I have used this already. Yeah, it has like a faint... Well, it's not that faint. It's quite strong um it has like a rose scent but like a fruity rose scent so there's also that option um and the other two are the healthy lips velvet finish yeah so these products here 
I these might have been discontinued because I the only reason I have two of these is because I got them at Winners, um, so TJ Maxx, same thing, um, for like really cheap. So I don't know if you can still get these, but Physicians Formula is a brand you can get at Walmart. So obviously this one is not going to go with the look I have on today. This is the shade, I have no idea because it's not written anywhere. That's great. Okay, there was supposed to be a sticker on the bottom, but I lost it. So I don't know what this shade is, but it looks really pretty for summer. Um, and then I have this shade, which is Bear With Me. So, yeah, all my options today are nude, which I am okay with because this is like uh, a purple look and I wouldn't go with like a red, so. Well, I think I'm gonna go with the Wet n Wild because I don't even know if, like I said, if you can still get this. Um, and this one is from the Rosé All Days uh, collection, which might not even exist anymore. I don't know. I haven't been to the drugstore in a really long time. So, let's try this. It doesn't have any scent. It's very creamy. Ooh, I like that shade. I think that's it then. That was pretty quick, I think, for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back in with the Rose Drench just because I want to. It's like so hot in here. So yeah, that was my full face of makeup you can find at Walmart. Um, just to give you like a quick rundown, you guys already know that I like this product. Um, and this is the limited edition Marilyn Monroe collection, so I hope you can still get it. Um, what else? The foundation looks really good. Um, it's obviously more of a sheer coverage, but that's what I like anyway. But I always feel like I should tell people that because I know there's people that really want a more medium to full coverage when they use foundation. But I like how this looks and it's like not so far. Maybe it is creasing a little in my forehead wrinkle, but not too badly. Um, yeah, so I really like the finish of this. Um, the blush. It kind of, I'm not sure how it meshed well with the formula because it was starting to break up a little when I was using my fingers, but when I went in with the sponge, it evened it out. I'm sure you can hear that very loudly. But yeah, it looks better now, but I do think um, those blushes kind of highlight um, any texture in your skin. Not that they highlight it, but like I find I can see my pores quite visibly where I put that blush. So if you're someone that likes to hide your pores, either use like a more like a pore filling primer um, or don't go with a cream blush. <laughs> um, the highlighter, I already knew that I liked it. I think yeah, you can see on camera, it's really nice and it can be used subtly with a fan brush, so I like how that looks. And the lip product feels really nice. It feels like a lip balm, but it has like the color payoff of the lipstick. Obviously, I don't know how it wears because I just put it on, but so far so good. So yeah. And the eyeshadow, I think I'll leave um, updates below because I'm wondering if it's going to crease because it is like those very, you know, those metallic shimmer shades that are quite like uh, creamy, like there's like silicone or whatever in them. So if it creases really badly, I'll mention it, but 
like I said, you can't really go wrong with these. They're less than $5 and yeah, there's a whole bunch of shades too if you, um, if you want to check them out. These are like the most basic ones pretty much, but I kind of just wanted ones that I knew I would use and that would be easy to get a look out of. So yeah, I'm really happy with those. I only use the cream shade from the cream and sugar quad, so but I'm sure like if it's the same formula as the shimmers then I'm gonna like it. And yeah, I think that's it. So I hope you like this video. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't know you could get these products at Walmart. Another plane is going by. I'm right next to the airport, so <laughs> it's gonna be like that for a while. But yeah, if you liked it, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I just wanted to add um, like a close-up because I don't know um, how well you could see from there since I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> I guess I'll find out when I edit this video, but um, here's the foundation up close. So as you can see, like it didn't cover all of my redness, but I don't really care because I don't like a full coverage look as I mentioned. And I think you can see like how dewy it is. And this is what I was talking about, like how you can kind of see my pores, like where the blush is. Um, and this is the eyeshadow. I just looked at it in the mirror and I was like, wow, that looks like a high-end eyeshadow for sure. I really like it. It's very metallic and you guys saw like I didn't even wet my brush or anything. So yeah, I really like that. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to add that. And the lips, I really like this. I love this type of formula where it like doesn't um, make your lips look all crinkly if you know what I mean. Like it, it adds like a nice shine. I like this a lot better than the Fenty one that I mentioned in another video. And this was like probably like a tenth of the price. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make sure you guys could actually see the makeup look. So yeah, bye.